Hi guys, I recently started learning the OpenCV library and one of the first tutorials I did was tracking an object on the screen, more specifically a ball. Uh, and this tutorial ended up working quite okay, however I wanted to expand on it a little bit and have the camera continue tracking the ball even if it moves off screen. What I mean by this is I wanted to have the camera rotate left and right depending on where the ball goes. Additionally, if the camera loses the ball completely, uh, I wanted it to start scanning for the ball looking for it until it finds it, uh, at which point it continues tracking it as normal. Uh, the way I did this was by connecting the camera to a little servo motor, is this blue piece that you see right over here, and this is connected to the camera using Velcro. The servo motor in turn is connected to an Arduino Uno board, uh, which is connected to my PC uh, via USB cable which emulates a serial connection so I can actually send data from the Arduino to my PC and back. Uh, originally I was using this ball right over here for this project but uh, it's a bit small and also I wanted to try out different colors to see how those will work so that's why I printed out this little template of circles over here and I already cut the green one out uh, I glued the green circle to a piece of cardboard uh, and I did this for two reasons. First, uh, I wanted to have it to be a little bit more sturdy and also to make the paper a little bit less transparent uh, since uh, if the paper is transparent and light hits it from behind uh, the green color becomes lighter on some places and this may interfere with the tracking. So this way everything is a little bit more consistent. Uh, I can show you how this ended up working just bear with me a little bit so I can switch the application on and as I do so you'll notice immediately that the camera will start scanning left and right uh, because it's now looking for the green circle and it's not finding it but as soon as I take it and introduce it to the camera you see it stops and it starts tracking it so right now if I start moving it near the edge of the screen you notice that the camera moves along with it and tracks it. This goes for both, both uh, directions. And then if it loses it at any point, it goes back into the scanning mode trying to find it. So I'll introduce it here now. See it finds it, stops and starts tracking it. I actually wanted to do a screen capture to show you how this looks from the application side but I think uh, I can do it like this as well. Uh, so if you take a look here you can actually see that on the right side there's the image that the camera actually picks up and on the left side uh, this black box over here is the actual tracking image uh, and because the camera is not picking up on a green circle now it's uh, you see only black over there but as soon as I take, take the circle and introduce it to the camera you can see now that uh, on the right side it picks up the circle uh, and then on the left side you can see a white, white circle being detected. Uh, this is a binary image which means the white part is what I'm actually tracking uh, and the black one uh, is uh, everything that I don't care about, any other color apart from green. And then you can see here if I move it near the edge of the screen the camera moves along and tracks it and then if I hide it from the camera view I'm still actually holding it, it's just not in a circle form uh, the way the camera expects it start scanning and then if it finds it again it stops and continues tracking it as normal So that was it. Uh, I'll post the code for this project, both the OpenCV code uh, as, well as, as well as the Arduino code to control your servo motor if anyone is interested in replicating it or expanding on it. Uh, and then I may also post uh, something interesting I found out while doing this project to help you, you guys uh, do the same thing if you would like to. 
thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you later.